I'm curious, you know, you've been through so much together. When you reflect on this journey and you look past and then we'll follow up with, with the present, is there anything that you wish you did more of together uh, in those earlier years? And is there anything that you wish you did less of together? Let's see. I mean, we played a lot of ball, but it was never enough. Basketball? Oh, anyway, just baseball, basketball, but we played a lot of ball. That's the worst part of this whole thing, at least from my perspective, is, you know, it's one thing to have a father who's a, a Talmud Chacham and, and a Rav and all that, and it's like, okay, so you know he's he's a better Jew and he's better in learning than you, but the fact that your father is also a better ball player, is, that, that was always, that, that was hard is for me. Is that true? Yeah. <laughs> that was hard. <laughs> yeah. And I'm, I'm six foot three, you know, and I, yeah, yeah, yeah. It, it was a little embarrassing, honestly. And, and, and that, I think, is the hardest part of this whole thing for me getting over that one um but things we don't really well things we don't do anymore is we don't wrestle anymore we used to have a minute after after shabbos morning which is not ideal you don't want to have a wrestling match right after challenge but we did that that was our minute we don't do that anymore after uh, i think i caused maybe a permanent injury but uh, that's that's pretty much uh over and done with but no, I, I, we spent a lot, a lot of time learning together. You know, we, we had a lot of harusas. I was actually pulled out of uh, out of yeshiva pretty early. Like I had other harusas. We had a very good uh, system. I even I think I remember that we had like actual tests. I think sometimes like you know, there were like these amazing prizes. Like I would have like very generous. Yeah, I was the only son. There was no competition here, so very generous uh, prizes and rewards. So to make the learning you know um, fun, but. Yeah, that's that's how I remember it. Rebbe, is there anything you want to add? No, I think that those times were, were very normal. Under, I always lived then and now under the terrible constraints of time because I'm pulled in so many directions by so many people. And, and I live constantly with the, with, with the guilt of the present, more with my grandchildren now, and thoughts of the past. How I just would have loved taking more trips, like just driving up to you know, Bear Mountain and hiking, like things that a lot of regular Hever do that, I just didn't have the luxury to do. And I, I feel bad that I didn't prioritize as I should have. Looking back, I should have given more time to Ushi and the kids on the cheshbon of, of other people. But you know, at the time, I thought that I was I was saving the world. Not consciously, but I was doing my best to, to save that world that Hashem put in my lap. And at times, I felt that I wasn't paying enough attention to the world that was in my own home. And I, I have regrets about that, but I try not to get stuck in in those thoughts. There's no point to them. I tried my best. That's all. And I, and with all my limitations, I, I I I tried. I tried. That's all. Can I just respond to that? Yeah. Briefly, I think it's cliche that everyone on their deathbed, you know, regrets not spending you know more time on on things that matter more. But that wasn't my experience, and I don't think I think I could speak on behalf of my sisters too. I don't think that was their experience either. First of all, we did think that you were saving the world. And you probably were, number one. Number two is we, I for sure felt like I didn't expect it. It's like I didn't need to go hiking on, on Bear Mountain. Uh, you know, having a catch on the on the front lawn was, was more than enough. But I think that, again, speaking for the rest of the family, we, we felt like partners in this. Like it, it mattered to us the work that you were doing. Even if it wasn't work, it was just sitting and learning. It mattered to us. And we, we, we felt and still feel like partners in that. So it didn't feel like we were missing out on anything, honestly. I, I don't I don't look back at all and think that there was more time that could have been spent and, you know, we didn't go on enough fishing trips. That, that really that wasn't doesn't feel like, like any sort of lack at all so just if, if it makes you feel better i wish you would have told that to me a long time ago because I, i've been i've been tormenting myself over that <laughs> uh, that's why i said to, i said to abdovid before we went on on air i said that yeah. you know he, he i said this is cheaper than therapy <laughs> so I, I i've been tormenting myself about that all of the years and and your mother she should be well she always says to me you know, don't make yourself crazy. And she always felt that that was true, that the children felt that there was a, a partnership. But I've always yeah. regretted that. I, I That comes also with the uh, post-Holocaust and Hungarian upbringing, uh, that guilt. And, yeah. and uh, I appreciate you sharing this with me now. Yeah.